How's it going everyone? We're here to check out what's upcoming for Rust and uh, we have quite a few different things and we don't exactly have dates on everything but we can make some good estimations and so forth. We do have an upcoming wipe. So uh, let's go ahead and see some of the stuff. The first thing we're going to check out is emojis. So uh, you have this right here now. It's a little smiley face and you actually have animated emojis in Rust now. Angry face, bean can, eyebrow, funny, mask, love, laugh, happy, nervous, neutral, rock, <laughs> smile, crazy, a heart, worried, torch, sunglasses, skull, <laughs> eyes, oh, you gotta have the eyes, right? Dance, exclamation, trumpet, wave, and yellow pin. All right, so there's those. And also, if you want to go ahead and do kind of like a trading kind of thing, you'd be like, want to sell. <clears throat> and if you put up that and then type in metal, you'll see it brings up all the different options. And so you can say metal face mask. You can even specify the special versions like the hockey mask and so forth. And so, yeah, you, what, what the fuck? <laughs> want to sell. And uh, then when you do that, want to sell face mask. And then, you know, someone can go ahead and click on it too. And, oh, no, I guess you can't click on. Okay, well, I guess you just go by the image there. I thought you were able to click on it and it would say what it was, but I guess not. But uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, it, all you gotta do is put in this and start typing out, um, you yeah, know, let's say sulfur. There you go, sulfur, so. You can pretty much do any of the items in the game, and uh, that's kind of a, a cool little thing. I feel like that might make chat look a little better? I, I don't know. I mean, uh, people will still be spamming the messages anyways, and now there'll be emojis and stuff, so I, I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Uh, you know, sound off down in the comment section. But uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the other stuff that is coming up. All right, guys, so basically there's been quite a few changes to the container building skin. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of show you how all that is. But before we get into that, I wanna go ahead and show you there's been some changes to map markers. They now show up under markers on the left-hand side of your map. And let's say you're far away from them, you click on it and it will take you straight to the marker focused on it and it has the name and then you can also just delete them straight from here which is really neat uh, also sleeping bags have been changed from a limit of 10 to 15 so that's something to keep into note of um, how many you're allowed to have out but they are limiting kind of the way they're placed so uh, we're gonna have to wait to the full patch notes on that one but there are some big changes uh, coming to sleeping bags, I guess. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to kind of see how that is. But there's also work on the Weapon Racks DLC still. Uh, looks like quite a bit of progress is being made with that. So that might be something that's coming soon. There's also work on something else, the Tugboat. And apparently it will be drivable. So hey, uh, we'll have to see what that's for. It could have something to do with the ferry terminals and transferring servers uh, when all that comes out. Or... It could simply be another vehicle. I don't know. We'll have to find out uh, once there's more information on it because that's one of those kind of things that's uh, pretty interesting, I'd have to say. Then, lastly, I'd have to say um, there is the quarries that are being redone and it's the deployable quarries. So they're going to bring deployable quarries some way back. I don't know how. Uh, we'll just have to see. But uh, that's still being worked on in the background. But along with this... A lot of people have been saying, hey, it kind of sucks that you have to pay the full price to change, let's say, stone over to Adobe uh, and so forth. Well, that is only going to cost 25% now. Uh, a lot of people are saying, well, why isn't it free? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the devs will adjust it. How do you feel on that? Would you rather have free or is 25% fair? So we've got the shipping container skin here. And we've got some other cool aspects of building to show you. But before we get into that, we'll go ahead and kind of take a look at this. So last time we took a look at it, uh, the inside was quite a different color, as well as we weren't able to use the spray can to change the color of it. It was just kind of at random. So we have all the different pieces kind of out. Made these some bright colors so you can kind of see how the color really pops on these items. And then if we go ahead and land in here, you can see the interior definitely has a much nicer color to it. And 
the actual metal frame will pick up the color of the outside. So since this is blue, this is blue. So if we change it to orange, now you'll see it changes to orange. So there you go. I mean, that, it's, it definitely brightens it up quite a bit. And then a lot of the interior items also have nice color, like the steps and so forth. The only thing uh, that you would notice is that the inside has the container wall for ceilings and the outside is a floor like this so that might be a little weird for some people i don't know i think it looks okay um but i think a lot of people kind of wish it was reversed i don't know we'll just have to see on that one but uh yeah here you go guys i, I think it's a much warmer color now and it easily does look much much more like the actual plywood that's on the sheet metal tier itself so that makes it a little more recognizable easier uh, but I think it's going to be pretty hard to not notice the giant bright metal bases to know that they're metal. But let's go through each color here and just show you. You know, you can look at the color wheel, but you don't really get the color until it's, you know, right there in your face. And there we go, so there's the color wheel, guys. So quite a few options. I think that's actually really neat. But here is the other thing. This isn't related to the containers, but I said there's one more kind of building thing to show off. And uh, there's a new upgrade animation. So yeah, whenever you upgrade something, it will now have an actual animation to it and a sound. And um, I think it's pretty cool. As long as it doesn't seem to cause too much performance problems, I would say I'm for it. Uh, right now, there's a teeny tiny bit of frame loss. I saw some earlier versions of this, and there was a lot of frame loss. So that's already been improved greatly because uh, it was actually noticeable flame, uh, f flame, flame drops, guys. Frame drops. But uh, here goes wood. Stone. And for some reason, uh, metal is stuck to upgrade to shipping container. There's no way to turn it on and off, but Q and E should be the way to cycle between skins. Uh, I don't know why that's not working right now. Uh, I, on this version, I think maybe they made it so everyone could test the container skins and that maybe overrid it, or it's just a glitch. But one way or another, uh, that is another feature to switch between, instead of having to press a weird button over here next to Armored, you hover over the tier and it will say uh, Q or E, or uh, no, A and D I think it was. Yeah, A and D to browse through the different types of skins and choose them, because eventually there will be more than one skin per, you know, tier type. So that's how that is there. But there is the uh, sheet metal, I guess, so to say. And then I guess we have to give ourselves some uh, high qual here. Oops. Well, that's okay. We can still upgrade. Boom. High qual. So we'll also do a wall of each. And uh, I don't know, let's do like a doorway on each one of these as well. All right. So then uh, let's start with our wood. Boom. Let's look out from the outside. There you go. Because, you know, there's quite a bit of a difference there. And then we're going to do stone. That's really cool. And then we've got our metal, which is <laughs> currently the sheet tier. <laughs> Love that noise. And then, of course, boom, armored and armored. So there you go. Uh, it's definitely a pretty cool little feature. Now, right now, I noticed that ceilings and roofs seem to be bugged uh, with the sound, but they do still have their animation. So if we go ahead and like upgrade this one, you'll notice no sound, but there went stone. Uh, same thing here. Let's do like armored. Boom, but no sound. So definitely a neat little addition. So how do you guys feel about this? Uh, I, like I said, I think as long as it doesn't really affect frames, it should be uh, kind of just a nice little thing for builders. It's always nice to have something different, you know? And uh, the animation is kind of cool. So uh, it also makes it pretty obvious when people are upgrading stuff. So there's that as well. That could be used to your advantage in rating or, you know, maybe just watching people build and knowing where their stuff is but one way or another guys that does it for now thanks for checking everything out with me and we'll be back next week to show you what's there for the update thanks for watching and stay rusty